And could the potential for one disaster be a temporary solution for another? ABC 27's Cara Bailey spoke with protesters still hoping to keep kids out of brick and mortar schools due to the pandemic and school administrators keeping their eye on the Gulf as they prepare for the first week of school. The push for digital learning remains a strong message among educators, urging the state to rescind its order to reopen brick and mortar schools. And for many, it's not just about work, it's personal. I pray to God it doesn't happen. Madalena Kaji lost two family members to COVID-19. As she prepares to enter her senior year at Leon High School, she's worried about friends and family members potentially risking their health in the hallways. I just can't even, I can't even begin to imagine the fright and the nervousness and the paranoia that they're going to have to go through every single day. Kaji was among several advocates at the Florida Department of Education Friday, demanding schools stay closed until it's safe for everyone. Tallahassee chapter of the NAACP president, Adner Marcelin, reflecting on recent deaths in the Leon County school system. Jordan Bird, who lost his life through this terrible disease, and his mother, both employees of Leon County Schools. To help students transition safely back to school on August 31st, Leon County Schools will begin operating a call center starting next Wednesday to answer questions from parents. District leaders also preparing to answer questions about the possibility of schools closing not just due to COVID, but also potential storm developments. Uh, if in fact we were uh, in a hurricane watch or warning uh, 24, 48 hours before um, uh, Monday, when, when uh, next Monday, when school starts, um, that, that could be an issue. Uh, we, don't, we don't foresee that right now, um, but we are watching uh, the storm closely that is out there. Leon County postponed the reopening until the very last day possible, according to the emergency order. In Tallahassee, Cara Bailey, ABC 27. Their reopening plans along with any weather related updates are available on the district's social media pages. And if you have any questions, their call center is currently scheduled to open Wednesday at 2 o'clock. The number will be available at the start of next week.